Hello, this is uh, Shankar once again and uh, uh, today also I was doing a lot of analysis on COVID-19 and uh, I mean the question is why can't astrology, why didn't astrology tell about COVID-19 or what could happen but astrology we all are not, we, we get indications of what is going to happen and that is what is more important. I mean, a lot of astrologers would have predicted that there's going to be a problem during this period. Uh, and you read it every day that everybody is, you know. So uh, give the due credit that it gives indications of what is going to happen. But the way it's going to happen, how it's going to happen, is something which uh, needs to be understood. So best way to understand, uh, let's understand COVID-19 in very different ways as to till what time will it continue. Now, one thing is very clear that this whole impact of COVID-19, I mean the word COVID-19 will remain, social distancing to some extent will remain, we need to be careful, Kaptak. That would be when Rahu comes into Taurus and Ketu goes into Scorpio and that would be around 20th September. So let's understand the word COVID-19 and some distancing, some this thing would remain till that time within the country and abroad. But that's 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 the outer limit which I feel. So let us talk about things which are positive and which you know which uh, which would give us a more a better indication of what COVID-19 would remain and what would be the uh, period of COVID-19. On my side, I have made a detailed detailed chart of what is going to happen in terms of uh, the various uh, parameters which are there uh, and that's and and that is important so let's uh, uh, let's analyze things in that way one of the most important thing which uh, which gives us a challenge is that uh, will when would transportation start i mean that is one thing which the lockout has uh, made to happen that will transportation start and when would it start so and and i believe when transportation starts properly i mean things are in a better situation and she's uh, a so at the moment the main main uh, in our bhrigunadi uh, system the main planet which governs transportation are and machinery huge machinery are rahu which is and Mars, which is Mangal. Rahu is like the big animal which with its mouth. It's like a mouth. And Mars is the machinery. And it is Rahu and Mars which make the movement of machinery to happen. So any movement of huge machinery like train, big, uh, uh, big uh, cars and you know big trucks with huge amount of uh, tires etc can only happen when these planets are favorably disposed to each other and also in the sign etc they are there at the moment Mars is with Saturn which has its own issues and, and it is not very favorable it does not have a very favorable uh, kind of a relationship with Rahu. Rahu is in Gemini if you see. Rahu is in Gemini and Mars would move into Aquarius. Uh, Mars would move into Aquarius by the month of uh, by the month of um, Mars would move into Aquarius by the month of 5th May. So from the time of 5th May Mars and Rahu form a 5-9 relationship here and you know but you have planets like Mercury, Sun and Venus which are also there. I mean Mars makes a 5-9 relationship with Rahu in the month of May. So there would be some movement which would start in the month of May starting from 5th of May. Now that kind of movement, Aquarius is a sign which, which basically is not the not the sign of movement. It's not the sign. It's not a it's not a it's not a watery sign. It's not a sign which can make a lot of movement happen, and it's a sign which is not favorably disposed to uh, to Mars. It is the Muldrakon sign of Saturn, 
and its depositor is its in its twelfth, uh, but in its own sign. So I feel some movement would start during that time, some within the state movement, but it is only when Mars will get into pieces. Pieces is a sign which is more of travel, more of movement, more of these kind of things which will start happening and Mars would come into pieces in around about, uh, uh, around about 19th June, 20th June. So it is only after 20th June and 30 to 45 days from there, I mean, you would see that there would be, you know, like a uh, full-fledged movement and, you know, interstate transport, trains, planes, etc. will start after 19th, 20th June and more in the month of July. So that, then th that means, you know, the impact of COVID and the fear of COVID would be there. That is one matter which I would look at positively, I mean, in terms of this thing. Second most important thing which I see at the moment is that mood that uh, uh, that Mercury, Mercury is in its debilitated sign, Jupiter is in its debilitated sign. And uh, Mercury moves into the sign of Aries uh, in the month of 1st of May. It, it hardly remains there for a long time. And finally, it, 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 it is also it's on a very fast speed in Taurus. And then finally, it comes to Gemini, Gemini in the month of uh, in May. That is about 23rd May, 24th uh, May. It comes in Germany after 25th May, and then uh, stays there till uh, stays there in June and uh, June, July, uh, June, July, and even a part of August. So Mercury stays for a long period in Gemini right from 25th of uh, uh, 25. Mercury stays in Gemini from uh, the period of 25th of May and and then in June. So when Mercury comes in Aries Taurus, it gives us some fillip, it gives us some fillip kind of thing, but it's too fast to do anything which is, uh, which, which, would, which would be worthwhile. It's only when Mercury comes in the house of, in the house of Gemini and crosses Rahu, and crosses Rahu only after uh, it it is uh, by the end of June that things would start improving. So again, uh, end of June I see a very very positive uh, time which is happening because and that is very critical because if you see all planets are between uh, the axis of Rahu and Ketu. When all the planets are between the axis of Rahu Ketu, it is not good. It is only when Mercury travels and then comes out of the axis of Rahu, it is ahead of Rahu, then we can say that, you know, things will start improving. Similarly, Venus uh, can control Rahu, but Venus can only control Rahu when it is in 6, 7, 8 degrees, 10 degrees. Um, uh, you know, in Taurus. So when it is in Taurus for 20, 25 degrees, I don't know when it will be about 20 to 25 degrees in Taurus, that would be the time when it would be able to control Rahu and that again comes uh, in the um, in the month of uh, in the month of Gemini again comes in the month of July, I mean, end of June and July. So from all aspects, if you look at transportation, I mean, I feel it is only after 20th June, we have discussed things would be better. If you look at the planetary combination where Venus, Venus is a natural planet for um, the transportation, vehicle, entertainment, so many things Venus takes care of and uh, that also will be able to control Rahu in around the month of June and Mercury comes out of Rahu's orb, I mean outside the Rahu Ketu axis also around about the end of June. So we can very safely see that it is only in the month of uh, June that uh, after 15 June, after 20th June, I mean to be, you know, take a kind of a mean 
after 28 June things would uh, be better off from all angles and you know things would remain COVID would remain there as a social distancing norm and certain kinds of thing till uh, the end of uh, September. So that is the that is that is a very important as far as uh, uh, my analysis uh, basic uh, first principles are concerned uh, which uh, show this therefore I also feel that after the month of May again there could be uh, a lockdown not so severe as the second lockdown is but there will be a third lockdown where you know some because mercury comes out and moves into Aries Taurus so many other things are happening uh, Mars uh, comes into Aquarius that the severity of the lockdown will be less uh, uh, movement etc would start happening but again till with restrictions is only by the end of June the last week of June I mean after 15 June 20 June or so 20 June or later that you know I would feel that transportation etc etc would start happening one more thing which I would like since we're discussing about um, COVID-19 and the impact of COVID-19 there is there are going to be uh, two very important eclipses which are uh, there on 5th June and 5th July there is uh, there 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 are uh, there are two eclipses and and 5th June uh, moon is in uh, Scorpio not a very good position so I mean these two eclipses I feel they would be uh, they will have an impact and uh, uh, I mean I can go into details of the impact why I mean eclipses happen and all eclipses do not have an impact but these two eclipses will uh, lay a foundation of uh, some kind of a greater impact to happen at a later stage and uh, there would be some disturbances in terms of uh, natural calamity rainfall something would happen uh, mostly in the in the north and the uh, southern states of the world uh, but you know I mean it, it's these two eclipses will uh, are not be very good for international uh, international scene and some kind of disturbances there but uh, my fear is that when uh, uh, you know uh, these two will be like you know giving the energy for a potential uh, major event to happen uh, and uh, that is for time to tell whether I'll be right or wrong and uh, we can get back to it it is when Jupiter comes into Sagittarius in August Saturn is also retrograde and in Sagittarius and Ketu is also in Sagittarius in the months of August and September so when Jupiter Saturn and Ketu all are in Sagittarius in the month of August and September I feel there will be issues uh, in terms of religion race casteism maybe people of some country some thing they could be boycotted uh, there would be major issues during that time internationally in the month of August and September which would you know uh, lay a foundation stone for a different uh, kind of things to happen not very good but that is uh, my view so I thought since I am looking at these things COVID the international impact I see this very clearly happening that is when these three planets are in Sagittarius in the in the in the chart they, they uh, and with the two eclipses laying uh, some kind of energy uh, build up uh, finally when Jupiter Saturn Ketu is in Sagittarius there would be some kind of a problem which will be based on religion or based on caste some kind of issue is bound to take place so these are my uh, predictions I mean uh, I feel uh, transportation would start after the month of, uh, of something after 10th May or so good amount of movement transportation etc would start after 15th June 20th June there are other aspects also also to prove that things would be better after the after 20th uh, June 25th June towards the end of June July uh, there would be a kind of a new normal which could uh, uh, which could uh, set in and things would uh, be uh, 
you know some social distances etc will keep on happening till about uh, september when uh, when uh, when the issue gets uh, resolved and i also see major international uh, events happening in terms of affecting us all in terms of uh, some issues which uh, would be based on um, class creed religion uh, perhaps um, i cannot tell the exact thing but yes there will be some issues in the month of august september when jupiter saturn and ketu are all in uh, sagittarius so this is uh, my analysis uh, on covid-19 and the international scene uh, i uh, it is based on my limited knowledge uh, and uh, i'll thought i would share it to with all concerned thank you and uh, bye for now